Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Tampa Bay Downs here on Friday. It is the 25th of November, 2022. Going to look at the seventh race from Tampa, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit 5 for more selections for race courses around the world. The seventh from Tampa, it's an allowance race, purse $28,000, race for three year olds and upwards, never won, a race on the main claim starter, or it's never won two races here. We have a field of 10 horses, hopefully going to the turf course this time, uh, not like Friday. Friday's card, uh, thir- uh, Wednesday's card, what day are we on? Wednesday's card. Um, hopefully they're going to the, the turf course distance of ground to 1,700 meters or a mile 116th on the Tampa turf course. 1,700 meters, a mile 116th. My top selection here, I'm going to go with the number four horse here. The number four horse, Fatima's Blessing. Let's go 4835 in the Superfecta. 4835 Super. Top selection of four horse, Fatima's Blessing. Five year old Gillen by Marsh's side. Mike Denny trains. Pablo Morales gets the mount. The horse's most recent down came 29th of October at Aqueduct. Mile 16th in allowance. Start allowance race 50,000. And he finished six by two and a half lengths that day. What cost him was the post draw. He was post, he was drawing 11 of 12 that day. And he was stupid wide throughout. He didn't have a lot of forwardly pace, which he normally doesn't have, but he didn't save enough ground. He was three to four wide around, six wide into the lane, which cost him. He moved a little bit late, but I think, you you know, you're not going to win off of that wide trip. Refreshing here to Tampa, hopefully with a better trip, save some ground. I think if, you know, I think he can really run a good race. It's not the world's toughest race, um, horses he's facing today. Two back in the lounge race, 74,000 at Monmouth, Monmouth on the uh, 11th of September. He finished fourth by two and a quarter lengths that day, and he sat back early. They get a little bit wide, but he was gaining. Not the world's worst race from there, and then claiming 16 at Monmouth, Mile 16, 21st of August. He finished second by a nose that day, and again, he, he sat back early, but really, the turn of foot lay wasn't bad. That race could definitely win against these horses. And then prior to that, claiming 30 at Monmouth, Mile 16, 30th of July. Finished fifth by five and a quarter lengths that day. Just really didn't show up there. Those three races before when he was under the old training care of um, of, of Joan Milne. Um, you know, those races just weren't up to scratch. But I thought he was facing some very tough um, horses in those races. Since coming to Mike Denny's barn, he's really become a b- lot better horse. Where, he, you know, they're not getting him into the race too early. I think his better running styles um, have shown that he, when he comes from the back, he really runs these better races. He is he only has one victory in 12 offerings. But he, as of recently, his races haven't been getting have been getting better. He's training well mom. At the five to one, let's use him. I think you also have to use the um, number eight horse here, Pirates Parade. Jesus Castanon's on this one uh, for John Pimentel. Uh, most recently, the Meadowlands going a mile in a lounge race. He finished second by a half length. The speed just couldn't keep up, but he didn't go down without a fight. Before that, in a, handic- uh, in a lounge race, at the Mammoth going a mile. He finished seventh by 13 lengths, and you know trouble beginning quarter horse to the front end which cost him it just took a little bit out of him there uh and then in handicap a mama though with the mile eighth he finished six by six and a quarter lengths that day very very fast fractions which cost him if he's going to win today he's going to have to slow it down he hasn't won on this turf course but he's running sneaky good races here and there training well locally at six to one we'll use him to pick four but i do think uh fatima's blessing is your likeliest winner but to recount my selection for the seven from tampa let's take the four horse fatima's blessing give kudos to the eight horse pirates parade four eight three five super for eight in your multi-race. So good luck to all. Please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid 5. Good luck to everybody.